was an intense day in court today. The jury looked at pictures of the day that AJ's body was discovered. They heard from that sergeant that was there as he explained what it was like for police and forensic experts as they gathered evidence. Gruesome images of AJ Hatzel's body were shown to the jury today as the Norfolk sergeant who discovered her gave them a step by step explanation about what it was like that day in April 2015 behind that abandoned house where she was found in Southampton County. She had gone missing five weeks prior. The sergeant testified that she was found in the mud face down under a piece of plywood with her pants halfway pulled down. In opening statements, the prosecutor said Wesley killed his adopted stepdaughter and and tried to point the finger at several other people. He claims Wesley planted several pieces of evidence, but said his work GPS in his van led them to her body. The prosecutor said AJ was an athlete with a bright future. The judge read the charges of murder this morning and concealment of a body. Wesley pled not guilty. The defense read emotional poems from AJ's journal and text messages she sent to her boyfriend that she had recently broke up with a few weeks before she disappeared. In their opening statement, they said AJ was struggling in school, struggled with her relationship, and they showed video images that were found in her phone with references to suicide. The defense said she suffered from headaches and was prescribed antidepressants by Dr. Ralph Northam, who is now the governor of Virginia. Yesterday, we spoke to Wesley's defense attorney. Wesley's doing fine. He's in good spirits and... Um, we're all looking forward to having a fair trial. Today in court, we also heard from AJ's former college roommate who took the stand. The trial is expected to take between two and three weeks. In Southampton County, I'm Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.